The production of any aquatic crop involves multiple steps. Many of these steps are consistent between species. Some of the steps include broodstock selection, controlled reproduction, egg care and management, larval rearing, feeding, maintaining water quality, harvesting, processing, transportation, and marketing. Let's use the Cant Channel catfish as an example. One key element to successful aquaculture production is the selection of good brood stock. These fish are selected based on traits considered most valuable to the species. These are prime examples of catfish brood stock showing strong secondary sex characteristics. You can see that the male in the top of the photo has the desired raised muscle pads on the top of the head, and the female has a rounded belly full of eggs. Catfish like to spawn in sheltered locations, so catfish farmers will put out spawning containers in two to four feet of water. The male catfish will clean and prepare the can for spawning and then try to attract a female. After several days, the farmer will check the spawning cans by slowly raising them out of the water. They will often find the male fish still in the can caring for the eggs. That's why it's always a good idea to look in the can before putting your hand in to check for eggs. If eggs are present, the farmer will gently remove them and transport them in water to the hatchery. In the hatchery, the eggs are placed in baskets in a trough with slowly rotating paddles. These paddles mimic the movement of the male catfish's tail sweeping over the eggs, keeping them clean, and providing them with plenty of fresh oxygen. As the eggs develop, they change from a light yellow color to a rusty red color. Inside the egg, the embryo develops until it's ready to hatch. When the eggs hatch, they have a large yolk sac attached that will feed the fish for several days. The farmers need to know how many fry they have so they can accurately stock them into ponds. Several samples of the fry are counted and weighed, and using the sample data, the rest of the fry can be counted either using volumetric displacement or by weight. Once counted, the sac fry are placed in a larger trough. Once the yolk sac is absorbed, the fish will begin to turn black and swim to the top looking for feed. At this point, they're called swim-up fry. They are fed four to eight times a day until they grow strong enough to be put into the fingerling ponds. Once the fish are moved to a pond, they're fed a pelleted feed. The initial feed is very small, and as the fish grows, the farmer will use larger and larger pellets. The feed contains primarily soybeans, corn, cottonseed meal, wheat, as well as a full complement of vitamins and minerals to help the fish grow fast and stay healthy. Feed is distributed across the pond surface using a truck or tractor and a feed hopper with a blower. Many feed hoppers have an integrated scale and control box inside the truck so operators can manage and record how much feed is added to the pond. Distributing feed over a large area allows all sizes of fish equal access to the food. Catfish farmers may feed upwards of 100 pounds per acre per day of feed during the summer months. That's a lot of nutrients going into the pond. Farmers have to closely monitor water quality to ensure optimum growing conditions. One of the most dynamic aspects of water quality is oxygen. Oxygen levels rise and fall during the day and tend to be their lowest just before sunrise. Sometimes mechanical aeration is used to increase oxygen levels. This electric paddle wheel aerator is designed to lift large quantities of water about two feet into the air and break it into small droplets. Breaking the water into small droplets creates a large surface area and makes it easy for the oxygen from the surrounding air to diffuse into the water. You can see that it creates quite a current that helps circulate the water and oxygen. Fish will often line up behind one of these aerators during a low oxygen event. 
After about 18 months, the fish reach a market size of about 2 pounds and are ready for harvest. Long nets called seines are stretched across the ponds. As the tractors pull the seine through the pond, the fish are funneled into a smaller detachable box-shaped net called a live car. In the scene, farmers are testing a new seine that incorporates greater bars into the seine that allow smaller fish to escape and reduces the number of fish that get stuck in the net. The fish are then allowed time to settle down and the smaller fish grade out before being loaded onto a truck for transport. The fish are lifted out of the live car and loaded onto a truck using a boom and basket. The fish are weighed with a scale connected to the boom and placed into a tank of water on the truck. The tanks are supplied with oxygen to ensure that the fish arrive alive at the processing plant. Once the fish arrive at the processing plant, they're unloaded, reweighed, and processed into a variety of product forms. Some of the fish are shipped out fresh, but the majority is individually quick frozen for easy transport to distributors, restaurants, and seafood retailers. And eventually, the catfish makes its way to your plate in a tasty dish like this one.